Hey, hey, Inspired Tribe, how's it going? Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, my beautiful fellow freedom lovers, everyone out there. Uh, we just received notice that Dr. Zelenko has made his transition and has left this realm, has left this earth. Um, for those of you who don't know who Dr. Zelenko was, which I believe are very few at this point, um, he is a, a formerly not very well-known doctor from upstate New York, uh, family doctor, kind of in the traditional sense, uh, treating people that he knew by first name, his community knew him, a very, very dear um, man that was very interested in truth, a uh, spiritual man that was very interested in um, bringing light and goodness to the people. And so he was a famous uh, doctor during the COVID era. Uh, you might have heard of him and what he has suggested publicly, how he's helped people. Um, he might have helped you. I think he helped all of us with his work, with his tireless going out. Um, and I had the honor and the pleasure to interview him a couple months ago. Um, a very uh, memorable interview for me. I could feel that his body was weak. He wasn't hiding it. But he was bringing this... Uh, this kind of stealth, um, you know, very, very passionate about truth, very passionate about um, how he perceives life and how important this is and how never-ending um, his will was to bring truth, to bring love, to bring authenticity to the people and also to, to fight this darkness that we're all facing. So it was, for me, a very, very... Um, intimate interview personal um, and and I really really felt honored that he would take the time in a time like this where he knew he was potentially um, coming to to the end of his physical life and so um, when I spoke with Ann Vanderstil whom he chose along with Kevin Jenkins to run his Zelenko Freedom Foundation a couple weeks ago also um, she said his body is not in good shape at all but his mind is fully there he's his, you know, resolved and and so he, he did leave behind a legacy of all of his work, of course, and the body of work, um, but also the Zelenko Freedom Foundation. So his vision will live on and I believe um, he's cemented this into this realm, what he stood for, what he believed in, um, and what he wants the next generation now, the people that are here to do. Uh, uh, my thoughts are with, with his family, my heart's with his family, of course. Um, we all know there's a bigger picture. And in my mind, I know the whatever suffering he was experiencing on Earth is over. There's a beautiful release into a new realm. It's always challenging and difficult for those who stay behind when that happens. But I, I would also encourage you all, and, and I remind myself of picturing a soul like Dr. Jelenko, uh, Zelenko's soul in peace and harmony and freedom and not attach it to your sad thoughts um, in my communication with the other side many times I've experienced this uh, that these souls just want those who stay behind to think of them in a in a beautiful way not in a sad way uh, there's no sadness on the other side really it's very that's a very human thing that we do here on earth our human emotions uh, but I also wanted to you know, thank him and uh, for for all the wonderful work he's done, for how many people he's helped to wake up or awaken. He's helped them physically and just a very beautiful human, a very beautiful soul, a very beautiful being that I had the honor to talk to and uh, we'll have the honor to also help elevate the work that the foundation is going to do. Um, we will be in touch with them and support the work of Freedom Truth just wanted to put this out there and maybe today in your prayer and your meditation um, think of Dr. Zelenko think of his beautiful spirit and let us all bless him on his journey home and uh, on his reunion with the Creator just wanted to share this with you all and uh, thank you for always being here with us we don't um, Yeah, there's a little bit of sadness here, of course. I try, see, 
this is a, a practicing thing for me too. I don't usually put this out in the open, but I have a very different relationship with what we perceive to be death. Um, in this particular case, of course, my human mind says, man, he had so much more to give and so important for people to hear him and see him. But people will hear and feel his spirit if they choose to. I'm just filled with gratitude. Thank you all for tuning in. We love you. Uh, we appreciate you. And be abundantly blessed. And God bless Dr. Zelenko and his family. We're with them in our hearts, in our minds, in our prayers, in our meditations.